you know, they all say they want to have the uh, parties work uh, better together. And this is uh, some of it coming from the most partisan people. I could tell you from when I was there that were the most partisan of all. Mm. Uh, and then when you ask them, the one thing that to me I would have ready with an answer, because of all the years you sat there, and with the unpopularity of the government at present, surely there's one thing that these candidates could name they would change, that they would say, no, no, that was the wrong thing to do or we made a mistake, and they can't answer the question. So why not, you think? Well, I think it's, a, it's, it's this uh, lack of courage that exists in politics today to really tell the truth. You know, and, and I don't mean that they're not t they're telling lies. Right. I just mean that they're not sort of laying it all out and saying, look, we've got to be candid with each other here about the magnitude of some of these problems and the mistakes we made. You know, why do politicians find it so hard to say, I'm sorry? They just do that. They're kind of going, <laughs> and they can't get it out. Well, a little honesty about things that obviously the view you, know, you can't fool the voters anymore. I mean, we're pretty well, smart You'd voters. like to think not, although there are people that seem to want to try. Well, including the seven candidates. But, well, so far, they haven't really sort of said, hey, folks, I mean, Harinder Takar came a little closer today in saying this deficit is a horrible thing. Yeah. It is. And, you know, even getting it down to zero on the schedule they've got is going to require more sacrifices than people have talked about. So uh, that's the part that surprises me. And maybe as the debates unfold this very weekend and that happens, we'll see these ideas. We better. We're, we're electing, as you pointed out, a premier, not mm -hmm. just a leader of some third opposition party. You say we, but you mean the liberals. Well, I mean, we, yeah. are, we in Ontario, though, yeah. this is our next premier that is going to emerge out of this so it's we collectively are going to have a premier out of this and boy to have somebody that goes in with kind of a blank check because they've had no ideas they put forward and no things they said they changed that sort of scares me.